pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now. Pay me or go to jail. Pay me my good silver. Good morning, now. good morning, Big Square Roadroad.com. With your morning horn of Z's, your sip of Chaga, Chaga, Chaga Gabi. So much going on in the silver world. Yes, I'm going to talk about silver again. I told you guys not much was going to happen till end of April. Um, and now we're going to start. Um, why am I not talking about the silver manipulation every single day? People ask me that all the time. I've been talking about that for over 20 years. 20 years talking about silver manipulation. I don't have much left to say. If you don't understand that silver is rigged and the U.S. government is involved heavily, along with the bullion banks and the regulators, then I can't help you out. But a lot of my friends can. Chris Marcus, kicking ass. He is fearless. Chris Marcus, Arcadia Economics. <clears throat> Go look at his uh, YouTube channel. Great stuff. He calls out everybody. He's fearless. I love that. I was like that maybe 20 years ago. I'm not fearless. I'm just tired of screaming into the wind. He's not. And I don't think he's screaming into the wind anymore. I think I think the best thing that he's done that I've been trying to do for over 20 years is call out the people in the silver industry who allow this bullshit to happen. The CEOs of these silver mining companies should be fired. 99% of them should be fired. They're the ones who should be doing what Chris is doing, jumping up and down and screaming that this manipulation is obvious and illegal and is destroying lives and destroying countries, villages all around the world that have silver mines are getting destroyed because they have to lay off their workers. Why? Because the price of silver is being held too low. It is insane what these motherfuckers have been allowed to do for so long. Guys like this guy, Jeff Curry, Jeffrey Christian, they run cover for these banking cabal. They are accomplices to a, one of the worst crimes in, in economic history. 170 years of price, silver price manipulation. 170 years of price suppression. And these are the lovely people who control our world. Not for much longer. So, I do want to call this to your attention. Chris Marcus will be swings, not really? golfing. Yes, increase no. Chris your distance, <laughs> improve your accuracy and lower your Chris Marcus will be holding a rally tomorrow, April 20th, at the CFTC in Washington, D.C. Anybody in the neighborhood around 10 o'clock, you got to go. Check well, this hello out. there, my friends. Chris Marcus here with you on April 14th. And I mentioned it was going to be a couple of announcements tonight. And Earlier in the evening, we mentioned the Silver Industry Integrity Committee, which has been formally launched on this fine day. Uh, certainly, I'm quite excited about that. Although there is more because one of the issues that committee has already begun addressing is the lack of action out of the CFTC. Certainly, I've talked about it long enough. Uh, now I'm taking it to the next step with completely uh, honest, legal, moral, peaceful action. But uh, anyone who's looking for something to do next Tuesday, April 20th, I'm going to Washington, uh, as I see here in the Google says uh, 1155 21st Street, so write that down, 1155 21st Street. He's going to Washington. Chris is also going to be at my uh, May 7th event. I know I haven't given specifics. It, it's in Phoenix or right next to Phoenix, probably Tempe. We are trying to secure the actual location. I always choose a bar. You know, my staff goes, Mix it. life doesn't revolve around bars. And I said, yeah, well... In, in the world of meetups and Big Square events, it usually does. So we're going to we're gonna get that locked up this week. But definitely, if you can make it on May 7th, uh, it's a Friday. We're going to start around 2 o'clock and go till whenever, and then post-party wherever. Um, it's going to be music. It's going to be speeches. Chris will be there giving us some speeches. He wants to play some music, too. I've heard him play. He's good. So we'll do some music. Litecoin Lisa is going to be there. Ginny Moonstone is going to be there. Will Lair is going to be there. Um, yeah, a whole host of people. It's going to be a blast. An absolute blast. And a lot of other people that just show up. 
So May 7th in Phoenix, Arizona. <clears throat> but if you're in the D.C. area, definitely help out our friend Chris on the steps of the CFTC. I'm going to aim to be somewhere around there. I've never been there before. I don't know what it's like. I'm not trying to start any sort of altercation. So, you know, I don't know. If we move down the block. I'm sure we'll figure it out as we get there. But I wanted to let people know that I will be there Tuesday morning, 10 a.m., April 20th, for a peaceful exposed CFTC fraud and corruption rally. So basically, if you're tired of all this stuff and uh, – well, actually, screw that. Not if you're tired of all this stuff. I would say the real purpose – I mean, again, this is not – like anything that we saw on uh, January 6th when people read the Capitol building and all sorts of wild things went down. I would say more so if you are free that day and want to just come have fun and talk with some other people about silver and make some signs. I'm, I'm going to plan on going human billboard style. <laughs> this is the kind of activism we need. <clears throat> I love it. This is the good stuff. Everybody out there who gives a shit about silver needs to do shit like this. So make sure you go if you're in the area April 20th. 10 a.m. at the steps of the CFTC. Uh, let's get that address again. Where is that address? Right here. 1155 21st Street, Northwest, Washington, D.C. <laughs> oh, Rostin Beanham, the acting chairman. You know why they say acting chairman? Because he's not a chairman. He just acts like one. He's a fake. He's a fraud, just like every other CFTC employee. Their job is not to regulate the silver market. Their job is to cover up silver manipulation that they've been doing since the 1970s when this version of the CFTC was put in place. It just so happened to coincide at the exact same time we went off the gold standard and the exact same time that Alan Greenspan implemented the computer trading models to rig all precious metals. All, all markets, actually. I mean, he doesn't do it anymore as far as I know. But... <clears throat> Alan Greenspan was the first computer programmer who invented the electronic <coughs> excuse me, monetary system. The electronic monetary system was invented in the 1960s by Alan Greenspan, who was working with computer programs that him and his buddy John Kimeney, the inventor of BASIC, created. That's why Alan Greenspan, the biggest gold bug in the world, was put as head of the Fed, head of the Fed. He was in control, control of the market manipulation. And that has basically been taken over in the late 80s by Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan. We all know the names. But that is being taken back. And the good guys are going to make sure this happens. Really exciting times for silver. Another guy I want to call out doing a, an awesome job is John Adams down in Australia. He knows the deal. The Perth Mint was a fraud all along. I've, I've been fighting the Perth Mint for I can't tell you how long. John is doing a great job at exposing these fraudulent, and we were screaming about this 10 years ago, the fraudulent allocated, unallocated, and pooled accounts. Kitco and Royal Bank of Canada have been running this bullshit for way too long. Perth Mint has been running this bullshit way too long. All the banks that have these programs are running this bullshit way too long. They don't have the metal. They don't have the metal. They never did. And we've been showing that for so long, and yet nobody seems to... <laughs> well, no, I get I get why. Because, you know, it'll flutter up, and then it gets covered up. The Perth Mint shut down their pool leasing program. And then somewhere, it was 2016, they decided to resurrect it. <laughs> it's a con. That means we were running out of silver in 2016. They had to run this con once again, even though they were called out before 10 years ago. John Adams, keep up the good work. <clears throat> His latest was, um, well, he, he, he he's calling out Peter Schiff for being a, a ridiculous idiot. I, I hate to tell all the Peter Schiff lovers out there, but your man's just, he's just, he's stuck in the past. And, and people like that hurt the precious metals. They don't help the precious metal. Yeah, he couldn't figure out what Bitcoin is. He still can't figure out what Bitcoin is. That's okay. That doesn't, make, that doesn't make him a bad guy. What does make him a bad guy is when he makes mistakes, like telling all his investors to throw money into the Perth Mint, gold allocated pools. Now, mind you, I would like to point out that Peter Schiff advises his people to invest in the gold allocated pools. As far as I know, there is no shortage of gold. As a matter of fact, it's the exact opposite. There's a massive, massive, massive 
oversupply of gold, hidden gold and non-hidden gold, as to not 200,000 tons that's ever been mined, as try 2 million tons, try 3 million tons of gold that they've already found, identified, and locked up in these desert wildlife preserves. The Diane Feinstein has locked up 41% of California, most of that down in the very rich gold area. Chocolate Mountain, look it up. Karen Lee Bixman did an expose on it back in the 90s, how they're covering up billions of ounces of gold. And of course, we all know about the Grand Canyon that Woodrow Wilson locked up right, right after he signed the Federal Reserve Act. Cliff High called Big Swear out and said, hey, Big Swear's right. Usually he calls me out and says, nah, I don't agree with him. He called me out and he said, hey, in his latest interview discussion on, I think it's on Patreon or, or BitChute or one of those. It was really good. Um, but absolutely, Cliff has looked at my information. He also has plenty of information on how much gold there is in the world, and it's a hell of a lot more, a hell of a lot more than 200,000 tons. It's in the billion, in, in the billions and billions and billions of ounces, and in the millions of tons. I'm not saying this saying, oh, the price of gold should go down. Not at all. There's a hell of a lot more money being printed. Gold will go up. Gold will double, maybe even triple. Silver, on the other hand, will go one-to-one -one with gold. Why? Because there's exactly the same amount. There's actually a hell of a lot more gold. But according to official numbers, there's 6 billion ounces of each. So they should be one-to-one. -one. Gold and silver will be one-to-one -one, one day. I think one to ten. Silver will be worth ten times as much as gold. Why? Because there's ten times more gold there than there is in silver. Because silver's been used up. It's been thrown into trash heaps and blown up in smart bombs and stuck into solar panels. <laughs> all those solar panels are all around the world. One day they'll come down. Yeah, I, I don't know what the lifespan is of a solar panel. Probably there's more technological obsolescence than physical, I think. But most people put in a solar panel and don't even think about it. That silver's never coming back to market. That's a hell of a lot of silver that's disappearing. So the above ground silver to above ground gold, if you have an ounce of gold, you are insane not to swap it for as many ounces of silver as you can. With the ratio at like in the high 60s right now, I think it hit 70 the other day. It is just stupid. And why is it? Because silver price is rigged. That's what markets look like when they're rigged. Oh, it's going up too high. We got to bring it down. Oh, no. Mayday, mayday, mayday on the comics. Mayday. <laughs> uh, we have a delivery coming up. The last day of trading is the 28th. That means eight days left, you little bastards. Eight days left. So, yes, I am going to be focusing more and more on silver. Be talking to Jenny Moonstone. Uh, we missed last week. We're going to hit this week. Um, absolutely. Where's my gold? Hold on a second. There it is. The silver dagger's out and ready ready for battle again. I haven't been doing much over the past month because I knew nothing would happen. But now, things are happening. It's time to start talking about it again. We got a delivery month coming up. And where do these bastards sit? They're in trouble again. 83,000 contracts, open interest for the May contract. What does that calculate to? For over 400 million ounces. Is it going to be that on the delivery day? No, it's not. Is this an elevated number coming into a delivery day? Absolutely. I'm hoping for a, a big number over the all-time high of, I think, 85 million ounces. That's a lot of freaking silver when no one can find any. <laughs> so we'll keep an eye on this. Um, it's usually in the last week that they pull all their shenanigans. It's, as Jeffrey Kirshner says, oh, no, the uh, commercials roll over into next delivery month uh, because they, uh, they see it as an opportunity. You know, it trades like a financial asset, not a, not a metal. Fuck you. Jeffrey Christian, you need to go to jail, my friend. And they require no toupees in jail. Hate to break it to you. And no, I'm not being mean. The guy's an asshole. He's been an asshole to me and all my buddies at GATA for way too long. <laughs> so, yes, I don't mind teasing him about his pathetic toupee.
today. By the way, check out, notice I don't have a hat on today because Amy cut my hair yesterday. There you go. That's why I wear a hat in the mornings because I get up early. I'm on the West Coast. I get up early, I throw a hat on instead of having to comb my hair and do my makeup for my podcast or YouTube show. What is, what is this? Anyway, so look at check it out. 83,000 open interest. Anything above, I mean, 20,000 is going to be 100 million ounces because there's 5,000 ounces per contract. That would be sweet over 100 million ounces. But I, I would remind everybody, this is their game. The comics is their game. They can do whatever they want. They can lie about whatever number they want. They can they can dump up 10 billion ounces. They can make the price go to negative $40 an ounce. That's how much of a con this is. And if you don't believe me, go look at the price of oil. Uh, yeah, negative $40. They can do the same thing with silver because it's all fake. There's nothing real about the silver price. Nothing real. This is not real. This should say $25,000 an ounce. $25,000 an ounce, not $25 an ounce. In a freely traded market. And that's what's approaching. So very excited about that. Also wanted to touch upon, just touch upon, the cryptos had a classic shakedown this weekend where the cryptos all dropped 30%. And then now they're bouncing back again. All markets are rigged, especially the cryptos. Not especially. When you're 100% rigged on every single market, including the, the Dow Jones, what a joke that is. The commodity markets. These are all because of the computer program rigging models written by Alan Greenspan in the 60s, taken over by the Fed, the U.S. Treasury, and the banking cabal. And yes, they are absolutely in on the rigging of the cryptocurrencies. They have to be. Christian Carlo, the head of the CFTC way back when, in 2017, even said, they're the ones who did it. They're the ones who crashed Bitcoin. Why? Because it would have just kept going up. That was his words exactly. We had to stop Bitcoin because it just would have been just kept going up. This was Christian Carlo, the head of the CFTC, Donald Trump, Steve Mnuchin, all you Trump lovers you got to love Trump rigging your free markets. Of course Trump knows what he's doing. Of course Trump knows that the silver market's rigged, the gold market's rigged. Why do you think he went after J.P. Morgan? On RICO charges? You, <laughs> Trump's DOJ went after J.P. Morgan on RICO charges. They ended up settling because he didn't want to... He knew what would happen if J.P. Morgan went down. Everybody would lose everything. Your savings account, your checking account, your 401k, it would all be gone. That's what would have happened if J.P. Morgan got rung up on RICO charges. And what was it all about? Silver manipulation. And why did Trump do it? Because of the repo market. That was all J.P. Morgan's doing. J.P. Morgan is not a good, good entity. Is not... We need to take them down, but we can't take them down because they'll take the whole system down. What do you do? You get your cryptocurrencies and get your silver in your own possession. That's the only way you can survive this. And it's not about making money. It's about surviving it. I don't know what's going to happen to the price of cryptos when the banks go down. They'll probably go to zero like everything else. But when you start up later, after this bullshit is over, you'd be glad you had your cryptocurrencies especially the number one cryptocurrency. The number one cryptocurrency was just on sale, by the way. Theta. I hope everybody understands what is happening with Theta. Because it is going to be the biggest cryptocurrency by far, well over the market cap of Bitcoin. Because it's actually something that we need desperately. Broadband expansion, desperately in need of it. Go talk to anybody in the telecommunications business who's studying at all about the broadband capacity being filled up very, very fast. We have maybe two years left, and there are no solutions on the table. Unless you want to stick a 5G tower and radiate yourself every 100 yards on every city block around the world, you're not going to fix the problem. Theta fixes the problem. Run a Theta Edge node, share your broadband, voila, problem solved. 
That's why Theta is going to be number one. But not only that, it is an amazing blockchain. Fast, safe, strong, and cheap. NFTs, I think the majority of NFTs will be run off the Theta blockchain. The vast majority. And yes, the crypto viewing, Ed Reardon's take on, hey, I see some guy, this is in their Theta discussion, I see some guy, a famous sports guy and CEO, talking about Theta on TV, announcing, buy Theta. Tom Brady, my friends. Yep, Tom Brady announced he's starting up an NFT company called Autograph. They haven't announced the blockchain yet. How big is it going to be? I think I know where they're going to do it, too. I think I know when they're going to do it. I think it's on the 24th of April. That's in a couple days, my friends. I hope you have your theta. I hope it, you are locked in. And all you gold bugs who can't get your head around cryptocurrencies, you can get your head around broadband. Everybody needs broadband. And broadband's going away. So theta is the solution to that. Get some theta. How do you do it? You got to learn cryptos or go to roadtoruda.com. And join the private road. Yes, we are still giving away the silver Ruta coins. It is, I think, shipping has begun for the people who first got in. April 12th was the first day, mind you. And there's going to be a final day, too. So get your Ruta coin today. We give them away with every subscription and renewal. And you can renew as many times as you want. It's up to you. But they're all number, numbered and double stamped. Check out that coin. That is the coolest coin ever invented. Each one is numbered on the bottom. There's Ruta jumping up and down. The Cave of Gold in the Grand Canyon. The Silver Brick Road. Oh, my God. Just the best coin ever. So, oh, my God. Look at Theta is going to drop below 11 bucks. That is a screaming steal. Theta is going into the thousands of dollars, and we're not talking five years down the line. We're talking soon. I posted on the private road. I posted on the private road a new price speculation graph for private road members about the timing down to the days, or actually it's down to the weeks, of when these next jumps are going to happen in Theta, and we are like very close. So join the private road, and you also get all the... So on the private road, I have a full page on how to buy, store, and stake Theta. I don't do private consultings. Don't email me. I don't answer them. I wish I could. But it's all right here on how to buy, store, and stake Theta and a video on why it's such a big deal. And it is the biggest of all deals. Apple, Google, none of those companies will work without internet expansion. None of those companies, not one cryptocurrency will work if Theta does not work. I hope everybody understands that. So when you look at Theta being number, what is it? Number 16 on the list of cryptos, it's ridiculous. None of these cryptos would work without Theta. None of them. And oh, by the way, they got another patent. They got their third patent right here. Theta awarded a third US patent for decentralized streaming. There is nothing this company, and, and just, I know I talk a lot about it. Of course, it's gone from four cents to $13. It's going into the thousands, and I explain why. It is required for, for the high-tech future that we're moving into. It will not work. None of these companies will work. None of the NASDAQ would work. None of the cryptos would work without the implementation of Theta. That's why they're getting these patents where no other cryptocurrencies can get a patent. Talk to Reggie Middleton about that. The U.S. government, the good guys, the bad guys, everybody wants Theta. Everybody knows Theta has to work. Otherwise, they got to stick a 5G tower on every street corner. And that ain't going to happen. They don't have the money for it. And it would fry our brains. Anyway, that's where we are, my friends. Uh, have you noticed, if you go to the Theta Medium channel, that's to keep up with the, the news, every like four or five days, there's a huge announcement of all the partnerships that Theta has. 
it's all about the partnerships. Samsung, Sony, Google. Soon it's going to be Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, Verizon. All of them are going to partner with Theta. That's what Theta focused on, the partnerships. And this NFT thing with Tom Brady as the spokesman, I'm telling you it's coming. <clears throat> I don't know what else to say. It's coming. Do not wait. Load up on Theta. All right. Go to RoadToRear.com. Hit subscribe today. It'll One-year subscription is $2.99, less than a, a dollar a day, and we will send you one of these coins, the coolest coin, silver coins ever. This coin itself will end up paying for your subscription when the silver manipulation ends. And don't forget to follow our friend Chris Marcus and join him at 11552021st Street in Washington, D.C. tomorrow, the 20th, at 10 a.m. in the morning. He'll be standing outside with a sign, all his grievances against the CFTC. Anyway, good time to be an activist. Grab your silver daggers. Get out there. Fight the good fight. This is Big Square Road I'll talk to you later. All right, it's time to have a little fun with our friends on the comics. This song goes out to that big old gigantic naked short out there. You know who you are. It's kind of lonely at the top, ain't it? I thought I heard the people say, pay me my silver now. Tomorrow's another trading day. But pay me my silver now. Watching the comics prices rise. Pay me my silver now. JP Morgan naked shows the highs. Pay me my silver now. Pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now. Pay me or go to jail. Pay me my silver now. CFTC, you better shut it down. Pay me my silver now. There's people rising up in every town. Pay me my silver now. The Gata boys. Are in the know. Pay me my silver now. Tin foil hats at the silver show. Pay me my silver now. Pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now. Pay me or go to jail. Pay me my silver now. But the nails you every time you try. Pay me my silver now. BPS shows how much you like Pay me my silver now The game is done when the silver's gone Pay me my silver now Comex metal in the warehouse none Pay me my silver now Pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now Pay me or go to jail Pay me my silver now Banking boys, melt that witch Pay me my silver now Deliver those bars and melt that bitch Pay me my silver now Pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now Pay me or go to jail Pay me my silver now So now is the time to free our land Pay me my silver now Silver in my pocket, paper in the can Pay me my silver now Pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now Pay me or go to jail Pay me my silver now Pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now Pay me or go to jail Pay me my silver now